We're in a state of anarchy. War has been declared. What is this? That is freedom of speech. We're against slavery too, but abolition is another thing. There is a devil of pro-slavery sentiment about. Be careful how you influence these young men. Fear is being used to control public sentiment. We were just speaking with Mr. Weld. He has been filling your ears with anti-slavery, has he? What are you reading? Another letter from Calvin Stowe. Lyman, you are very new out here. If I were you, I would be careful. What do they care about someone else's liberty? As long as they have their own. Well, out east, they may be considered progressive, but here, they are radicals. We, the students, have been discussing emancipation. We think the topic should be discussed openly. Preposterous. Is it the duty of the slave-holding states to abolish slavery? Colored people have been living here for 200 years, and they have a God-given right to prosper here, just as we do. Slaves have always been considered property under common law. Now they, or their parents, or grandparents, were stolen from Africa. The truth is that blacks are just not ready for freedom. When they are alone, all their talk is of liberty. You always say, when people hear the truth, they will act on it. We came to these debates to hear the truth, and now we have it. Brave, flaming resolutions are passed to keep men from speaking their conscience. Will you tell me why you made up these articles? Here, and here, and here. Don't you think this abolition talk has gone too far? Is there no stopping you, Mr. Weld? Not until slavery is abolished. Not until it or I am dead. A storm is coming. We need the storm. Abolish slavery! The whirlwind. And the earthquake. What do you like to do best? Write, I guess. Then write the truth.